Hello, and welcome back to my channel, where I recap and summarize the latest episodes of Justified. City Primeval, the revival series of the hit neo-western drama Justified. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick and concise recap of episode 3, titled Backstabbers, and how it ended with a shocking death of one of the main characters. If you haven't seen the episode yet, be warned that this video contains major spoilers, so proceed at your own risk. Episode 3 of Justified City Primeval picks up where Episode 2 left off, with Raylan Givens, Timothy Oliphant, confronting Clement Mansell, Boyd Holbrook, the ruthless killer who tried to kidnap his daughter Willa, Vivian Oliphant. Raylan beats up Clement and warns him to stay away from his family, but Clement is not easily intimidated. He tells Raylan a story about how he once killed a man who looked just like him in a bar fight, and how he enjoyed watching him die. He also reveals that he knows Raylan's name and where he works, implying that he will come after him sooner or later. Meanwhile, Willa is angry at Raylan for putting her in danger and for not being honest with her about his job and his past. She tells him that she wishes he would just admit that he doesn't want her around, and that she wants to go back to her mom in Florida. Raylan tries to reassure her that he loves her and that he's doing his best to protect her, but Willa is not convinced. She feels betrayed by Raylan's choices and actions, and she doesn't trust him anymore. Raylan also has to deal with his professional troubles as he continues to investigate the murder of Judge Guy, who was killed by Clement in Episode 2. He teams up with Detective Wendell Robinson, Omar Benson Miller, who is also looking for Clement for another murder case. They track down Sweetie, R.G. Seiler, a former musician who is now working as a bartender and an informant for Clement. Sweetie tells them that he has the gun that Clement used to kill Judge Guy and that he's willing to give it to them in exchange for protection and immunity. However, Sweetie is also secretly working with Carolyn Wilder, Rosario Dawson, Clement's lawyer, and Raylan's potential love interest. Carolyn wants Sweetie to give her the gun so she can destroy it and save Clement from prosecution. The episode reaches its climax when Raylan and Wendell go to meet Sweetie at his apartment, where they find him dead on the floor. They realize that Clement got there first and killed him and that he also took the gun with him. They also find a note from Clement addressed to Raylan, saying, see you soon. Raylan is furious and frustrated, knowing that Clement has escaped again and that he has lost his only chance to catch him. But the biggest shocker of the episode comes in the final scene, when we see Clement driving away from Sweetie's apartment with Sandy Lily Simmons, his girlfriend and accomplice. Sandy asks him why he killed Sweetie, and Clement says that he was a traitor who deserved to die. He then tells Sandy that he loves her and that he has a surprise for her. He pulls out a ring box from his pocket and opens it, revealing a diamond ring. He asks Sandy to marry him, but before she can answer, he shoots her in the head, killing her instantly. He then tosses her body out of the car window and drives off, smiling. This scene was shocking for several reasons. First of all, it showed how cold-blooded and unpredictable Clement is as he killed his own girlfriend without any remorse or hesitation. He clearly doesn't care about anyone but himself, and he enjoys killing people for fun. He also proved to be a formidable adversary for Raylan, as he managed to outsmart him and get away with murder twice in one episode.